Hello, and welcome back to another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. This is Billy Hill. That's me. And this is Mike. That's me. And we thank you for joining us for another one of our Whiskey Reviews. Today, we have one of our fine American, and we're streaming live. We're streaming we have one of our right fine now. American bourbons. Billy, tell us a little bit more. Woo! Okay, so this is a whiskey, not a bourbon. Hudson Manhattan Rye Whiskey. Okay, so they make five different ones, right? This is the rye, which is uh, not so used often in the old bourbon whiskey area. So it's a whiskey because it's made in New York. Is that wax? Yep. That so the reason, hold. the reason they use the wax is because they found it to be the cheapest and most efficient way of sealing this up without having to build a $200,000 machine to do it for them, right? Lovely. I just found that out today, America. Um, we tried to bring in those fine details. So this place was, first of all, this place is impressive. This mm. is impressive. They first ever whiskey distiller in New York. They bought this huge property that was going to be a retreat for climbers because there's a bunch of so badass. There's a bunch of badass climbing there. Their neighbors threw a fit. Didn't want them to have people running around, climbing stuff, falling off, dying. So. They had to think, because they spent all this money on the property, what are we going to do now? For some reason, they decide they're going to do whiskey. It's a good course. So they reinvent all this stuff. They buy all their equipment from Germany, all this old stuff. Badass. Go online and check it out. They, really great story with these two guys. Two guys. Starting Every, this company. Everything's hand numbered, hand batched. Every batch is different. Small barrel. 46% ABV. Yep. They do small barrel, everything. Do, oh, if you can see here. See to here actually it is the year 2016 batch five bottle 1737 if the yep. camera can pick that up. Do we know how old this is, Bill? Not old. But by definition, if it's American it bourbon or whiskey, seven. it's gotta at least be two years old. It, at it, least, at the very least. Probably I'm, older for some reason. I'm thinking I'm thinking it's probably close to seven. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Alright. I mean it takes it takes a minute to get that kind of that kind of color out of uh, something soaking in a barrel, you know what I mean? Look at color on that. Folks. Speaking of the color. Get a color on that. This is a caramel. It's this a beautiful. is a deep caramel. If you're at a caramel apple at the fair, Ooh. think of that with maybe a couple of shades. Like deeper. I want a girlfriend that color. You know what I mean? Caramel. This color right here. Whatever. Like this made color out of the candy. I'm into that. Brazilian. Brazilian. <laughs> I heard they don't have hair on their uh, heads. You know what I'm mean? thinking? Yeah. It just looks like fake spray right. tan. So I discovered this. I discovered this in Alaska last August at the foot. Of Denali. Is that a place? Denali, the mountain, highest mountain in America. Didn't North know. America? Yeah. In Alaska? <coughs> we were in a town there chilling for a day before we went back out. We found this guy, which was like 16 bucks a shot, because Alaska everything's expensive. I bet. I went to Subway, it was $20. $20 for Subway in Alaska. Tuna milk? Six inch? Uh, foot long veggie. Well, if you're going to go 20 bucks, you might as well get some meat. I didn't know it was going to be $20. What's up? This, I fell in love immediately, and if you have this, you're gonna love it. By the way, this was about 60 bucks. Uh, U.S. U.S. money. Columbus, Ohio. Mike. In Q4 get, 2016. Just get your nose right in there. Just get in there. Woo! I've been nosing this for a minute. This is the first time I've actually had this you whiskey. You say vanilla. Uh, first thing I'm smelling is caramel. Much like the color. Got a lot of caramel. There's some sweetness. I'm not gonna say vanilla. I get some apple. I'm gonna say vanilla. God damn it! There's always it's American oak, and the beauty of American oak is you get vanilla, you get a little bit of, of carameled honey. I, I see the honey. That, that, I can a, see the honey. I'm getting carameled honey more so than vanilla. Oh yeah. I'm getting carameled yeah. honey. There is a bit of char there, though. <sighs> there, I don't want to call it oakiness, but there's something I can't woody, describe. woody about it. <laughs> Yes. You about it. I would like to know more about the maturation of this one, and we'll try to uh, bring you more information as well, far I mean, as the maturation. It's, it's got that rye. You know it's a rye bourbon, or whiskey, I'm sorry. You know it's a rye whiskey as soon as you smell it. Rye whiskey or whiskey. Uh, so, hmm. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, America, because I love this fucking so much. I'm done talking about it. We're going to take a first sip. I'm getting caramel, honey of caramel on the nose. Mm. Billy, what would you get on the nose? Oh. You get that rye immediately. 
super sweet. Oh, you get that honey for sure. You can taste the wood. You can definitely taste the, the barrel. I, um... Tell me that rye doesn't hit you just right away, though. No, further, earlier what I said was kind of a caramely taste. I think it's more of a rye caramely taste. Yeah. Rye's a little bit different. I don't know if you, if... It's uh, definitely different than corn. Definitely different than corn. Yeah. And definitely different than a scotch. It is sweet. If you're a mm. scotch drinker or if you're a drinker of some maybe drier American whiskeys or bourbons, this is definitely on the sweeter side. It, remi it, it reminds me of a wool sweater. Like you want more, you like just more. Speaking of sweaters, sleeveless sweater vest. I'm in. I you know I'm a vest guy. First of all, I know I, I'm a vest guy too, whether suit or not. Do you think the vest was invented for a man with no? Is it just a jacket for a man with no arms? Or someone who is cold outside, but my arms never get cold. Has to go inside, and they got to roll up their sleeves to get down on dinners and drinks. Back to the whiskey. Vest guy, Amelia. Back to the back to the whiskey though, I agree. Super sweet. I'm getting essentially everything that I got on the nose is confirmed on the palate. I still I still do get that apple fruit though. I don't know why. I'm not getting an apple fruit. What I'm getting is a maybe like stewed fruits with a, a big overcoat but of I, caramel and honey. I gotta be honest. Full disclosure. Have you not been honest previously? I, no. Well, sometimes. It's a euphemism. Lie so much when you tell the truth they don't know. That's Machiavelli right there. <clears throat> so in full disclosure, I did have. A Warhead's candy cane earlier, and that may have tainted the palate a bit. Back the palate a bit but, uh, maybe if Raven lets me suck on her big toe, that'll go away. Raven? And also, I'll get Athlete's foot in my mouth. There is no Raven. It's just someone we randomly make up in the background as part of the. Uh, so, we, we watered this down? The show. We did. We have a little bit of water. We it watered does, this down. It does open up a little bit, it adds a little bit more sweetness to it. Again, I'm getting a ton of caramel. You this always is a very. Do, I think it's caramel your palate. I think heavy. it's your palate. It do you just is. sit around eating vanilla caramels? <laughs> Every day. It's this could explain things. Huh, America? Try Go buy this right now, America. <clears throat> and share it with me. So, the, how, how do you, what do you think about watering it down a bit there? Um, watering I, it down. I feel like literally when you put water in this, I wanted to cry a bit. In I've, a good I've way? never tried it like that before, ever. I've never even dropped an ice cube in one of these. You don't need to water this down. This is very it's soft. Yeah, th it, th and this is a little bit high for an American bourbon. It's forty-six percent ABV or ninety-two proof. It's velvet in my. It, it really, it really does not come off on the like, palate that strong. Does it too? Like if you took a drink of this and you were like, Billy, you want to taste this? And I was like, Yeah. And you were like, Go ahead. I would probably lick your tongue. We'll try that later. Down. Don't Deal. watch, or it's Deal. weird. It's not weird. It's weird if she watches. Um. I'm going to say this is a fairly basic, straightforward whiskey in a good way. It's caramel, it's honey, it's got a medium to short finish as far as the linger. It's a little dry. It's a little dry. I do like the rye though. The rye adds something that um, it, you know what? I really can't put my finger on. I've said this before. It, it reminds me of that straw kind of hay playing in the, in the hayloft of, mm. your, of your uncle's barn. Mm -hmm. Mm. It it's does got, have. It's, it's a bit stingy. It does have like a, a, a dusty character to it. D yes, well put. Dusty. Like when you're looking, the sunlight's coming through the little tiny little thing. And you in see the, the bar. particles in the air, and, and you can like, taste it. I'm breathing that in. I'm breathing that in. Yeah, all, all the time. Mm. You know what I'm not getting on this on the on the finish? What? No strawberry whatsoever. Absolutely not getting any strawberry off that. Or blueberries or anything else like that. No berries. No. By the way. I like your color choice today. Going with blue. And, blue. Is that blue and gray, or is this a different variation of blue? A couple blues. Dual blues. I learned about some blues. Can you tell you about the blues? It's always a blue shirt. <clears throat> Mike, where are you at? Usually a green shirt. What, tell me what you think about this. This is your first time. This is your first time with this. This is my first time. Um, I'm impressed with it. I have, I have a, a few empty bottles sitting around. You may notice I enjoy this whiskey. It is definitely a bourbon I would drink again. Whiskey. Or, or whiskey, whiskey, excuse me, because it's not from Kentucky. It's from New York. And right. oh, they locally source all of their whatever it is they're using corn, rye, whatever grain they're using is all locally sourced from New York. Uh, just a great company all the way around. Cra they, they call it a craftsman, uh, which to me just sounds like a fancy word for we don't make that much of it, so fuck you. When you know what it sounds like? It sounds, it sounds expensive. It sounds hoity toity. 12? Okay. Okay, so 
A little bit more information here on the label. It does say pot still from rye grain stored in New Check York. Check out their pots, dude. Less than four years. They bought these huge pots from so, Germany. So, so somewhere between two years and three and a half years as far as what the overall storage is on this yeah. one. So it doesn't have- Don't take off, Nathan. Oh. So it doesn't have a ton of complexity, but what it does have, drinkability. Good it's and soft on the palate. Dude, look, I don't, think, I don't think my palate is developed enough for this whiskey. Because it, there is so much complexity there that I can't even like. You think it's complex? I can't put the puzzle together. I think it is. Because I taste so many things at the same time that my brain's like. Dee -dee -dee -bear. Yeah, I mean, to me, what it is, oh. it, it's it's. Don't kick the table. Again, that vanilla, that that honey, that vanilla, mainly caramel. He's gonna say vanilla too many times, and I'm gonna fucking stab him. That's why he brought the knife. And you know what? Next fucking week, I'm bringing in some fucking vanilla extract. Not a vanilla extract, like a pure vanilla. You want some like beans? A vanilla, bean. vanilla bean. I'll bring in yeah. beans. Like you grind them up like you wouldn't coffee. I'll bring in beans. I don't know what you do with them at that point. I will bring in beans. But anyway, I'm, re I'm ready to give this whiskey a score. A score up? I'm going to go with just an overall. Upcoming, upcoming video will be about these uh, lovely, so. lovely, lovely glasses we have here. <sighs> it just talks to me. It's like. A really good American whiskey, a bourbon style New York American whiskey. I'm going to give it an 88 out of 100. For you, Bill? Mmm. That burnt sugar. A little bit of burnt sugar, you're right. Uh, Maybe brown sugar. I get a little pepper off of that, too. Now that it's sat a minute with the water. I need to take a little bit more time with this one, I think. I get, I get a little black pepper on that. Or some type of pepper. Uh, white pepper. I'm setting at a solid 90 on this one. For your, for your money, we are peaty, smoky dudes. We love Isle of Islay. Whiskies. If you're an American and you want some fucking good stuff, besides some Jim Beamer bullshit, but if you guys send us free shit, we won't call you bullshit anymore. I, so, I'm an so, 87, you're at a 90, you I'm said. at a solid 90. This, a solid is, 90 on this, this one. is a solid And one whiskey. more time, how much is this? $56, I think it was. So it, it, it's Six, only, let's call it 60 bucks. Let's call it 60 bucks. So it's only high and kind of an expensive whiskey for an American whiskey. But I gotta tell you, it's worth it. I would buy this. I, I would pay 60 bucks for this. All day long. And with that. I would pour that on your girlfriend and lick it off. Is it just the whiskey? Or is, is it more the girlfriend? More the whiskey. Is there she's there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's here. It's okay. definitely her. Yeah. She's, so. Yeah. We want to thank you for joining us for another one of Mike. Is that Mike. awkward if I do that? I don't know. Would I'll watch. watch? Okay. Absolutely. Um, for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews, we thank you for joining us once again, and as always, happy drinking.